How about this match off to keep kick off the week? The Nagani Lady Miners undefeated at 6-0 in Mid-Peninsula Conference play. Took on second place Ishpeming, who sat at 5-1 in conference play. So first place was on the line tonight. So let's go to Lakeview Elementary. The Miners and Hematites were ready to renew their always heated rivalry. Speaking of heated, the Miners came out firing in this one. Adina Anderson from Rosalie Anderson, and the Miners led 8-0 out of the gates. Ishpamin ends the run and gets on the scoreboard here. Alicia O'Brien to Jessica Spencer. Spencer drives, floats it, fills it. The Hematites trailed by six. Still in the first, Haley Blake for Nagani steps up and knocks down the triple. Nagani led 13 to four after the first quarter. Ishpamin head coach Mark Delangelo, yee, not happy. Coach wouldn't like this either off the inbounds play. Ashley Veal with the hoop and the harm. Miss Veal completed the three point play. The Hemantites trailing by eight now kept going to the hoop. Spencer drives and misses long, but Gabby Crowley is there for the rebound and the putback. Gabby had 14 points to lead all scores tonight, but Nagani would pull away late in the fourth to win 48 40, staying undefeated in mid pen conference play. To the scoreboards, Houghton took care of Hancock 63 29. Chassel was victorious. 49-13 over Copper Country Christian. Jeffers wins at home over Lakeland and Hubble by 13. Barriga, a winner on the road at Dollar Bay, 45-37. In a very tight ball game, Carney Nato wins 51-46 over Powers North Central. Bark River Harris runs away from Rapid River, 61-18. Superior Central wins by 21 at Mid Peninsula. Congratulations to SC's Vanessa Freeberg. She became the school's all-time leading scorer and she is just a junior. In boys hoops, the Rockets had two 20 plus point scores. Jake Pearson with 23, Hayden Hardwick with 21, as Rapid River wins at RM. Ingedine slips past Newberry by five, 72 to 67.